So in this tutorial, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to use uh, ExamView to build a quiz or an exam using Norton's um, various uh, test banks. Uh, once we've created a quiz, we're going to do a little editing. So we're going to add some of our own questions. We're going to um, edit the questions um, that uh, you've brought in from the test bank. And I'm also going to show you how to select for very particular criteria when putting together quizzes and exams. And then I'm going to briefly show you how it's possible to export your customized exam um, into several learning management systems, um, such as Blackboard or Angel. So let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is launch the ExamView uh, software. And you can download the software from uh, WW Norton's uh, Norton Resource Library. And once you've downloaded the software and installed it, you're simply going to run the application and you'll see a screen that's somewhat similar to this. Uh, to get started, we're going to start by running the Quick Test Wizard. The Quick Test Wizard is a very quick and easy way to build either build an exam, um, randomly choosing questions from uh, one or multiple task banks, or another way to, to think about using it and to use it is to use the Quick Test Wizard to build a foundation of questions that you can then go in and add additional questions, um, more carefully selecting individual questions. And that's what we're going to do. So this is a, a sample a sample quiz, and we're going to start simply by giving it a title. So chapter four through eight tests. And I, and I chose four through eight because I want to show how you can select multiple test banks to draw from um, as you're creating a quiz or an exam. And once we've done that, we're actually asked to, to select those test banks. So it's four through eight, so I'm going to choose by holding down the shift key, chapters four through eight. And then we hit select, and we're going to move on. Now in this screen, we're, we're shown the an overview of the questions that are available from those four chapters. So in those four chapters, there are, for example, 76 true-false questions and 250 multiple choice. We're going to give our students a break and give them 12 true-false questions, 30 multiple choice questions, um, five essay questions, and say, or five matching questions and three essay questions. Now again, these questions are going to be drawn randomly from the five question banks that we've chosen. And you can then go in and add additional questions if you so choose. So of the 426 available, we're choosing 47. I'm going to hit next. For the matching question, I'm asked how many groups do I want. I'm going to select three. We're given another brief overview of what our test is going to look like. We're going to hit the finish button. And the test is built. Now very briefly, I'm just going to scroll down and show you that in addition to the questions being built, we have um, an, an answer sheet that's also been uh, designed. And now, of course, you're probably going to want to do some editing. Um, so let's, let's get to the very basics of editing before we do anything else. Say you thought this first question just wasn't worded particularly well. You can double-click and change the language any way, which, which way you'd like. Um, it's e even simpler when you get to the multiple choice questions. So number three, we want to make some edits too. We're going to select it, double click, and again, you can change the language, you can change the question um, in its entirety, um, and you can change the answers. Um, you can, or the potential answers, and of course you can even change the correct answer. It's that simple. Uh, then you would hit the record button, and that change has been recorded. But say now you want to select very specific questions to meet your individual class needs. One thing that you might do is add questions according to very specific criteria. That's how much you might do this. I'm going to come up to the question uh, area from the drop-down menu. And we're going to rather select, rather, and we're going to select by criteria. And again, we're going to choose questions from four test banks four through eight. 
Now, for many of these questions, we have added um, what we call metadata. This is just a way of, of tagging individual questions according to specific criteria. So, for example, under reference, we've selected questions from various pages in the book. So if you wanted to concentrate on one particular area, you could. Under learning objective, we have coded quest each question and defined it as either being applied, conceptual in nature, or factual. And we're going to select conceptual. So what we want to do, and you can see here that in those five test banks that are selected, there are 12 conceptual type questions. If you wanted to see the applied questions were and how many there were to draw from, there are 72 applied and 136 factual based questions. I'm going to go back to conceptual because these are the ones that we want to make sure are on our test. And we want to look at those conceptual based questions while we're viewing them. So we're in chapter four, uh, test bank, as you can see right here. And in chapter four, there are three conceptual based questions. And so we have decided that we're going to select these two. We're then going to move to chapter five and look at the conceptual type questions that can be found there. We like all of those and so on. Okay, we're happy with the questions that we've chosen. So we're going to rebuild that test, close this down. But then I thought, well, maybe I just want to add a few more questions. What's another way that we can select for questions? So we're going to go to select. We're going to select while viewing, which I think is one of the easiest ways to add questions. And we're going to focus in specifically on these, these test banks that are already selected. And as you can see here, we're in chapter four. As I scroll down, you'll see that there are some check marks, and those are questions that the uh, quick test wizard chose randomly. So you can see what questions are already in your quiz and which additional ones you want to add. By clicking down here, we can move to chapter six. We're just about ready to go. Finally, you might, you might determine that you want to add some of your own questions uh, to reflect uh, topics that you covered in, in your lecture, for example, that um, aren't covered in the book. By clicking on Question, selecting New, and then selecting your question type, you can very, very easily build additional questions. So, for example, multiple choice question, simply a matter of posing the question, uh, providing some potential correct answers as well as one correct answer, and then choosing your answer. Uh, you can even add it rationale, which will be reflected um, if, for example, you deliver this in an online environment. Speaking of, we're ready to do something with this test. Now, what you might want to do is simply export it to a rich text format. And that means it's going to be readable by any word processing program. Uh, once you save it to a rich, test, uh, rich text format, you can open it in Word and print it out. But you might want to export it to um, the Angel learning environment. That's something that's very easy to do. Uh, you can also export, as you can see here, to Blackboard. Now, if we want to export to the Angel environment, and again, this is a file, it's going to save as a zip file, which you can then upload and import into uh, Angel for online delivery in your online course. We're just going to be presented with a few questions. You want to give the just a few things you want to keep in mind. You want to give your quiz a very specific name. So in this case, we're going to call it Chapter Four through Eight Quiz Angel Section Two. And of course, what you name it is is entirely up to you. You'll then pre be presented with just a few a few questions, uh, formatting options, for example, HTML with default fonts, and I would, if I were you, I would stick to that. Uh, note that there's a, uh, a message here, exam view will compress the test into a content package that must then be uploaded into Angel. Use the import wizard from the Angel management 
console to complete this process. Um, and that's something um, that's very, very easy to do once you've exported it. We're going to click now the OK button. And the file has been saved to your desktop in a, in a format can then, that can then be uploaded uh, very, very simply into Angel. Uh, once you've uploaded it, you can make it available to your students. And when you upload it, you know that your quiz that has uh, that is very specific, that is highly focused, and that contains the edits that you added within um, ExamView um, will be reflected when students take it. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for your attention.